It was a really terrific talk. I think he connected with everyone in the audience, those people who think about the innate immune system, those people who were curious to hear a Nobel laureate speak, and those people who were really expert in the particular field. What do you think of TLR receptors in cancer immunology or inflammation in cancer? Well, there's of course a tie-in between cancer and inflammation, and that was another way the whole story was approached. Honestly, I think this is one of the greatest experiences I've had, uh, talking to a really established and uh, very successful researcher. Um, I really liked how Dr. Boitler talked about all of the past scientific experiments that led up to his discovery. A key part of my story was the work of Richard Pfeiffer. I think the audience got a real sense of his trajectory, his own aha moments, his own struggles, and that was inspirational because you get a sense that really scientific research and careers are built up step by step. I've read about Dr. Boitler's work before and am very interested in his area of research, but when you actually hear his story about the events which led up to those discoveries, it changes your perspective, especially when he talks about the evening where he discovered the TLR4. September 5th, 1998, I was in my study at home looking anxiously at the blast results and I saw a strong hit unlike any I'd ever seen before. I think the students really appreciated that, uh, to see someone who was a young, fairly unknown investigator in the late 80s and early 90s kind of risking everything on a four-year hunt that might not have worked. But that's the way great science is often done. It's really a rare opportunity that they get to meet one-on-one -on -one with someone like Bruce. It was really nice for a young scientist to be able to see what exactly uh, is required to win a Nobel Prize. We were working really constantly, week after week and year after year, to find the mutation with very little respite. I like the fact that he mentioned um, like perseverance is really important. It was not a kind of project where one could work five days a week and eight hours a day. It's, it's wonderful to see someone like that, a prominent scientist that has done um, important work, focused hard and was very determined. Not only has he illuminated basic biology, but he's also been able to affect the lives of many people who are suffering from diseases. Bruce Boitler's work is seminal for immunity and um, in genetics as well. These are all concepts, these are all tools that we work with and help us understand the systems that uh, we are trying to manipulate uh, in order to treat and cure disease. This organization is driven by science and to get a chance to you know, meet with you know, some of the brightest scientists uh, in the world is, is always an exciting time. After the formal uh, part of the session, a group of scientists just bundled around Bruce and started bombarding him with really tough questions. Uh, science is about interactions. Uh, you learn and teach, and that's how you develop your knowledge. That's how you turn ideas into better ideas and eventually medicines. I'm inspired, I'm excited, and you know, hearing his story sometimes gives you just the reason to get the next day to work and, and trying to develop a drug and do some scientific discoveries.